thank you for tuning in to Three Hoodoo Sisters. And we are going to show you how to do a simple call me lover communication spell. This spell is for those who are trying to get their other half husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, <laughs> bedroom bully, whatever, whoever you're trying to get to communicate with you again. Um, it's a bit of a more forceful spell because we'll be using Hi John the Conqueror candle and also Hi John the Conqueror powder. So wonderful spell to get your bae, your boo, to call you back or to just try to open up the lines of communication. All right. So what you're going to need is a purple candle. Purple candles are basically used as a way to control. But as you can see, I have John the Conqueror. I know at the bottom it says house blessing but you don't have to use it for a house blessing just get a normal John the Conqueror candle and you'll be able to just go ahead and use that um, John the Conqueror actually comes from African-American folklore for some of y'all who do not know that um, he was a prince who basically escaped captivity and there's also a root called Hi John the Conqueror Root, which you can use in your mojo bags, in your Greekery bags, and even in your dolls, in your voodoo dolls. So that's just one thing you need to know. You can also use a blue candle. Blue is a candle for communication. So if you really don't feel like using Hi John the Conqueror, which is a more of a pull you type of spell, which is kind of pulling that person to you, basically it's a more dominant spell. That's why it says conquer. While blue would be more of a softer communication, it's really based upon the person. If the person is being really stubborn and hard-headed, then I would most definitely, it's more of a commanding spell. Like, I command you to talk to me. While blue is, I'm just going to open up <clears throat> your throat chakra so that you can talk to me. So, basically that's what it is it's more of I command you and so it's a l little bit of a heavier spell and yeah guys so um yeah I'm excited <laughs> let's get to work okay and then we have the yellow candle yellow is really a color of, of cheerfulness attraction Oshun honey, the light, the sun, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so basically, the reason why you can either use red or pink, but I prefer yellow because yellow is less suspect to the person because they'll feel more of a feeling of happiness rather than this weird feeling of I really love this person. And for some reason, I just feel like talking to them I think the best type of spiritual work is done where it's more has more of a undertone than a bam punch you in the face but it's really depending on the situation and the person so if you want to you can use a red candle or a pink but today I'm using yellow because I'm trying to make this person feel good and want to talk to me and not send me straight to his or her voicemail and block me from Facebook and Instagram and yeah. Another important part of your spell is going to be um, coffee. Yeah, coffee guys, coffee. Um, you know that saying, oh I can't talk until I've had that one cup of coffee or coffee is going to wake you up. Coffee is a stimulant. Coffee is also a stimulant to the throat chakra. So most definitely if you're trying to get him to talk um, to you, coffee is a major communicator. That's actually a secret. I don't, it's not really a secret, but it's not a lot of things that 
people don't know so and that's probably something that you guys did not know coffee and there are many other herbs that are known as communicators so you don't have to use coffee if you know another communicating herb slash stimulant herb then most definitely go ahead and use that but today we're going to use coffee it's in your kitchen it's at the store you can probably knock on your neighbor's door and get a cup of coffee all right so remember guys how i was holding up the high john the conqueror candle well this is high john the conqueror powder so it's the actual root that's been grounded down um it's a root that you can use to put in your candles um so where do i get high john the conqueror um powder you can get it from ebay sd the botanica online um pretty much anywhere is there a substitute no i just use high john the conqueror and um <laughs> my friend is sitting on the couch and she was like I'm in love with the cocoa I was like no no <laughs> we ain't in love with no cocoa up in here even though cocaine is actually a really strong stimulant in spiritual work I don't know because I have not used cocaine or snorted up my nose anytime lately and if you do then that's your nose and your business but here is powdered sugar because um, powdered sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can even use honey. Um, you can also use um, regular sugar. Like you can knock again on your home girl's door who lives upstairs and be like, girl, you got some um, sh sugar. You got some honey. Yeah, girl. Yeah, you know, I got it. <laughs> so sugar magnet dust you can actually get magnet dust my, my friend told me actually at home depot um i order mines online or i'll just go to the local botanica um if you want to see it's in a small bag um and basically if you think about it it's a magnet what does a magnet do it attracts so it's pulling so it's going to be pulling pulling whoever you want you know if you want douglas to finally text you back after you've sent him 25 texts then it's going to help more with him to hit you back up or else magnet dust works really really well powder excuse me so we want something that's close to the heart and that's going to make he or she feel touched in the soul and be like you know what I'm not mad that she ate my last piece of turkey wings and so I'm going to call her up and um, talk to her again it's just dried rosebuds all that, that's all it is it's just dried rosebuds you can use dried rose petals get your own rose petals and dry them out or I like to get my dried rose petals from the Botanica and I also use my own dried roses and you're going to crumble them up and turn them into like little dust and you're gonna stick it in the candle you're gonna stick it in that yellow pink or red candle alright and yeah guys this is a generic oil um, I use another oil if you can look I'm sorry how my nails look I've been so busy <laughs> they look terrible but um this is just basically food coloring and oil and this is not going to cut it because I use the one that actually comes with herbs in it um, so like inside of here you'll see herbs floating around and this is just a cheap generic that I wouldn't advise anybody to really buy but I just wanted to use an example because it says come to me so I just thought that was important so you do need some come to me oil 
because you know you want him to come back I keep saying him but really we get male clients too so I can't even say it's, it's just women men to, to come back to you so you know because it's I ladies I done used it a few times my damn self so <laughs> I can't even hate it is what it is and just for legal purposes I am not doing actual spiritual work on Iggy Azula or whatever Azita I don't know her name it's whatever um not doing work on her I don't know her I don't really l listen to her music I don't really care and I, I have no, no idea who this guy on the left is <laughs> for legal purposes but this is basically um going to be let's say this is a picture of you who's trying to get your boo back which is you know Iggy Azalti or, or whatever her name is and then you're going to take your picture and her picture and of course what are you gonna do you're going to write your name all over her picture and then you're going to write her name all over your picture yay and don't forget to put down your date of birth on your picture and don't forget to put down their date of birth on their picture and you can put it right here over here at the bottom so let's say March 21st 1986 and then we come over here and put down February the 3rd, 1948. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. So we have gone over everything. And so I'm about to instruct you on how to get your man to talk to you. Okay, so basically you're going to take the Hi John, the Conqueror picture, and put the picture of your boo thing on there. You can either glue it on or tape it on or put it like this and just glue it on tape it on oh my god my hands look so terrible I'm sorry <laughs> but just glue it on or tape it on yep 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 and then you're gonna take your picture and you're going to glue it on like this or tape it I cannot wait to get my nails done but <laughs> anyways you're gonna glue it on or tape it on Excuse my old lady hands. So put a couple of drops of come to me oil in both candles. Take your coffee gr grind and put about two pinches of evenly inside of each candle. If they're hard headed, put more. Not so much where the coffee overwhelms the actual spell, but just enough coffee. Um, some of you guys may be asking why am I not actually putting it in there? Because these are perfectly awesome candles that I plan on using. <laughs> so yeah. So you're going to take the powdered sugar and you actually don't need that much. So I would say you could use even half of that and throw it inside of your yellow candle. I don't want to say throw it, but evenly distribute it, excuse me, I get a little bit tongue-tied with certain words, around your candle. You're going to put the rosebuds inside of the candle. One thing I will tell you is leave the like herbs and the powders around the candle. Don't put them by the wick because the actual powders can burn out your um, flame. So basically put them around here don't put them like right there put them around like put them like on the corners and stuff all right or you can ground them up and use it as a powder form take your high john the conqueror powder and put it inside of the purple candle and again make sure you don't put it too close to the wick or the powder will burn out your flame okay so just put that inside of the high john the conqueror candle and take the magnet powder and put it inside of so put some 
inside of here. And then not a lot, not, not a whole bunch. And then put some inside of here. And alrighty. So leave each candle burning beside each other, okay? You're going to light the yellow candle first for the first three nights. And before you light your candle, you're going to hold it in your hand and you're going to call out your lover's name three times and you're going to ask for this person to put you in their heart, you know, to have only good memories, good feelings, and stuff like that, okay? So you should probably do that every night. And then after the third night, you're going to light the High John the Conqueror candle, which is the purple candle. And you're going to call out their names three times. So once you light the purple candle, you're going to hold on to it. And you're going to think of this person almost like I would really visibly tie a chain around them and think about yourself pulling them towards you, pulling them towards you as you hold the purple candle. But you're pulling them towards you with kindness and with love. You're not, it's, don't think about anything crazy or violent or use profanity. You don't want to scare that person off. So just keep pushing them towards you. And every day that chain is getting closer. So he or she is getting closer to you but remember only words of kindness love happiness don't be like come here come here right now you coming right now you gonna be mine I don't want you to be with Kiki or Jonathan or 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 like Jason or Cindy I want you to be with me only and and no you want to say things like you you are missed you belong here um, come closer to me lover things like that like don't start acting crazy because people our words have so much power our thoughts and the things that we say so if you put garbage into a spell then you're gonna get garbage back if you want to you can either take some come to me lover and rub it around your hands and going upwards you know like a penis you know and just think of like positive thoughts and bringing that person back and let the candles work overnight and never leave your candles alone so your house doesn't burn down so please practice fire safety um, because I'm not responsible if you burn down your um, $200,000 home.